two days ago, the world recorded the hottest temperature ever, 17.01 degrees Celsius as a global average. It, it was definitely hot earlier this week. So data from uh, climate researchers uh, from the University of Maine shows that the 4th of July was the hottest day on record here on our planet. The global average temperature, which has been measured by satellite since 1979, reached 17.8 degrees Celsius or about 60 three degrees Fahrenheit. That is the hottest day ever recorded. Now, the previous record uh, that was set the day earlier on July the 3rd. And before that, we have to go back to 2022 and then 2016 to find the hottest days. Now, the latest global heat wave also might be fueled by our first El Nino pattern that we've seen since 2019. And as you can see there, we have had a long climb to where we are right now. The World Meteorological Organization predicts El Nino will continue to increase global temperatures for the next 9 to 12 months. And the impact on our weather, basically it means more storms, larger storms, more rain, and we could see more of the heat waves that we've been seeing blanketed portions of the southern plains, including Texas. And we'll likely even see this expanding, you know, across not only the southern plains, but the southeast. And, I mean, Britta, you know, when you take a look at some of the record high temperatures that we even saw yesterday, I mean, 107 degrees. That is hot over in El Paso. Ooh. I mean, West Texas is used to the heat, but that's a pretty impressive record for this time of year. And, you know, there's kind of two parts to this conversation. There's the weather part and then there's the climate part. Mm -hmm. And so we have these natural trends, El Nino being one of them, where we do see this warm up of the water in the Pacific and that changes the weather pattern across the globe. That does account for these warmer temperatures. But then as you take a look at the data that stretches over decades, we've had this gradual warm up. And that's what they're noting about what happened on July 4th. Many of you might be saying, well, 63, that doesn't feel like mm -hmm. it, that's a big deal. It's a big deal because it's the global average. So you're taking the hottest place, like, for example, that record 107, and then the areas dealing with winter right now across parts of our globe and the other part of the world. And that's how you get that average of 63. So the fact that we're seeing that warm up with our climate over decades is a big concern, too. And I think what's also interesting to note here is think about the United States. Think about how much severe weather we have seen uh, this year. I mean, in terms of not only damaging wind reports, as well as severe yes. thunderstorms, as well as tornadoes, no surprise there. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.